In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to customize the website layouts. Scroll down. Under the section Customize your store. Click on Browse and Edit Website Layouts. There are starter templates which are editable layouts that can be customized the way you need. If you click on Apply as Homepage, then the template will become your homepage. If you click on View Layout, then you can see what the layout looks like. If you click on Edit Layout, then you can edit and customize the layout according to what you like. Let's say I want to view the layout of the first template. On this page, there are options here that you can click on. If you hover over your store name, then you can go to the Dashboard page, Widgets, or Menus. I will explain the Widgets and Menus features in another video. If you click on Customize, this is where you can edit the global, the header, the blog, the sidebar, the footer, and the menus. In the global section, you can edit all these features. The rest are self-explanatory. Header is to edit the headers. Blog is to edit the blog. So on and so forth. Please note that you cannot edit the layout of this site in this page. If you want to edit the layout of the site, you can do that in another page. I will show you how to do that later in the video. On this page, you can only edit these features. Now, you can hover over the header, and you will see a pencil icon. If you click on the pencil icon, you can edit that section. For example, I want to edit this header. As you see, there are many features you can use to customize this header. You can edit these headers too. If you scroll all the way down, you can edit the footers. If a pencil icon is present, then that means you can customize that particular feature. You can also access this page on the dashboard page. Click on Customize Website. You can choose to edit any one of these features. These are not all the features you can edit, these are just the common ones. There are more features that you can edit on the page. As you saw before, Let's say I click on header options. Then it will take me to the header section. I can edit all features that relate to header. If you hover over new, you can create a new post or a new coupon. If you click on edit page, you will be taken to this page. On this page, you can change the title. You can change the status. If you do not want to publish your website yet, then you can set it to draft. You can also set it to pending review. You can also set a featured image. This will be the image that appears on social media sites or messages when the page is shared. You can upload an image from your device. You can use instant images. Or, you can use the media library. Then, if you click on Edit with W2B Builder, you will be taken to this page. You can also access this page by clicking on Edit Layout. Now, on this page, you can edit the layout of the site. But you cannot edit the header, footer, sidebar, etc. You can edit those in the page that I mentioned before. Down here, you can click on Preview Changes to see what the changes you made looks like. You can change the responsive mode. This means that you can see what your site looks like on a mobile device, tablet, or desktop. You can check your history. This will show the changes you have made. This is where you will be able to undo changes, and keep track of the changes you made. You can also see revisions. Revisions are made every time a change is made to the site. So, if you made a change and didn't like it, you can go back. If you click on Navigator, you can navigate between the different sections on the page. For example, I want to see the first section. You can view the subsections of a section. Just click on the drop-down. If you click on Settings, you can configure the general settings.
You can also configure the body. For example, let's say I choose an image as the background for the body. As you see, this is what it would look like. You can use all these widgets to customize the layout of your site. For example, let's say I want to add Google Maps. You can add this widget anywhere where a thin blue rectangle is present. Let's say I want to add it here. You can configure the settings for the Google Map widget here. If you want to delete this, right click on the pencil icon, then click on delete. If you click on the plus button, this will create a new section. Then you can drag a widget there. Let's say I want to add a new section here. For example, a YouTube video. You can configure everything about the video here. If you click this dots icon, you can edit this section. You can edit the layout, the style, and more settings in advanced. Every section has the same editing options. If you right click on the pencil icon and click on navigator, it will open that part in the navigator menu. You can navigate to the main sections or the subsections. When you click to navigate, the section or subsection you select will be highlighted. If you hover over the sections in the navigator tab, there is an eye icon you can click on. If you click this, you can see what your site looks like without that particular section. You can do the same for every section. Remember, if you want to edit the header, the footer, the logo, etc., go to Customize Website. Then you can access those features here. That's all you need to know. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.